There's all eyes on Mauna Loa and the world's largest active volcano has been studied extensively, so science do have a good idea of what might be taking place during this eruption. KITV4's Paul Drew shows us what experts expect to happen based on Mauna Loa's history. Just like the last time it erupted, Mauna Loa's activity started at the summit and moved to a rift zone. Areas where vents and fissures form in the ground and lava spews out. That the volcanic activity progressed from a summit eruption to a rift zone eruption. The volcano has two rift zones, one to the northeast and one to the southwest. But while lava can reach populated areas to the northeast in days or weeks, because of steeper terrain, it can reach those along the southwest rift zone in a matter of hours. As far as we know, in any historic precedence, that there has never been a uh, eruption of Mauna Loa that activated both rift zones at the same time or during the same eruption. So we presume at this point that all of the future activity is going to be on the northeast rift zone of Mauna Loa and not on the southwest rift zone. So those residents in that area um, do not have to worry about lava flows. Right now, the eruption is taking place from three different fissures, but Experts expect a few vents to form and lava to pour out. A lot of lava. It's in the order of magnitude of what the 2018 is, uh, and we're talking about 50 to 100 or more cubic yards per second. Mauna Loa has periodically pumped out incredible amounts of lava, like in 1950, when it sent out as much in 23 days as Kilauea's eruption would pump out in more than three and a half years. So this is a large eruption. Um, one of the big differences too is Mauna Loa is very large and a large part of it is unoccupied. So there's a lot of space for the lava to roam up there. So while we can have very large lava flows and they can move fairly quickly down the slopes, they're gonna have very little impact on people on the island. But that could change depending on how long this eruption lasts because it could share other similarities with its last eruption. Actually, this kind of lava flow is very similar to what happened in 1984 and potentially could threaten populated areas around Hilo. Uh, but we're looking at somewhere around a week before we expect lava to get anywhere near um, in that direction. In 1984, nearly a week after it started, lava came within four miles of Hilo before that flow died and the eruption ended before lava got any closer. So how long will this eruption last? general average of a, of a rift eruption is about two weeks, one to two weeks, someplace in that area. Um, there's no guarantee that that is what we get. We've had eruptions that are much shorter and much longer. So we've had eruptions as long as a year uh, come from the rift zones and as short as just a few days. And right now, in addition to all of that lava, the volcano is putting out gases like sulfur dioxide, but not too much ash, although eruptions can also spew out particulates and even these delicate rocks known as reticulite. These frothy basaltic rocks are so airy and light that they came floating down like snowflakes during the Kilauea eruption. And if you're not gentle with them, they'll just turn to dust right in your hands. And these form during vigorous fire fountaining, which is taking place right now. 